Hi, how you doing? It's Justin, I'm back. And uh, I had a, quite a few email requests for some finger tapping. So I'm just gonna run through some really basic finger tapping, make, explain the kind of the basic principle of it. Um, it's kind of a beginner level finger tapping. We're not gonna go too mad today, but uh, I might go and if, uh, if this proves popular, I'll go, get on and do some harder ones. Um, so the principle of finger tapping, for those who aren't familiar with it, is using your right hand uh, going to tap on the fingerboard to get a note out. Now you can do that if you just leave your, your fingers resting on the uh, guitar neck there and mute all the strings, you'll find that uh, just by tapping with your finger here, you can get a note. But you have to hammer it down quite hard, so really think of the pressure as being quite a hard downward motion. Now there's lots of different kind of ways of finger tapping, lots of different people do it different ways. I'm going to show you the way I do it, that doesn't mean that any other way is right or wrong. Um, the, the two kind of main ways, that, the two options is you, either using your first finger, in which case you can kind of grab the guitar neck with all of the rest of your hand and leave your first finger out to do the tapping like this. Um, I prefer a method where I rest my whole arm on the guitar and I use my, se so kind of my palm of my hand is muting all of the extra strings and I use my second finger to tap. That way also if I'm holding a pick, which I don't have any picks here just now, but if I was holding a pick like that, I could also be able to tap like that while I'm still holding my plectrum. Um, which I think is quite a useful technique to be able to get in and out of tapping rather than having to hide your pick away and then tap with your first finger and put it back. So, um, what we're going to do is we're going to just look at a quick uh, A minor pentatonic tapping lick. Um, so what we're going to be using is our first finger here on the fifth fret of the thinnest string on the note A. We're going to reach up with the third finger on the note C at the eighth fret, which are two notes from the A minor pentatonic scale. And the note we're going to be tapping is going to be up here on the twelfth fret and like I said, I'm going to use my second finger, but you might want to use your first. Um, so we're going to be doing a, a technique to start off with where you, what's called lead with your tapping finger, which means that the tapped finger, or the tapped note, is the first note on each new string when you change strings. Um, to start off with, we're just going to do it on the one string. So what you start with is tapping with the, the second finger on the 12th fret, tap it, hit it down quite hard, get the note clear, and your first finger is already down, so when you flick off that second finger, you flick it down and you've got that note with your first finger, and then you'd hammer with your third finger down. So you've got like a little triplet. So we'd have tap, flick off, third finger hammer. get quite quick. Now it's definitely worth practicing that really slowly and getting it right. There are other tapping techniques that you can do like going from the tap, flicking off to the third finger and then down to flicking that off to the first. So you... But I'd recommend that to start off with you do the tap, flick off to your first finger and then hammer on with your third. Again start like this really nice and slow and gradually build up the speed. Now if we move that over to the second string, um, to be technically correct within the pentatonic scale we should move the tap to the 13th fret, but it actually sounds really cool if you leave it on the 12th fret, it becomes the 9th or the, the note B in the key of A and it sounds kind of hip. So the next thing that I think is worth practicing is practicing doing four taps on the first string, on the thinnest string, and then moving it over and doing four taps on the B string. So you'd end up making sure that you lead with the tap. So we'd have here one, two, three, four. Now tap on the B string. kind of works out pretty good even though it's quite a straightforward lick. It's not particularly hard. Um, if you want to move it over another string, then uh, we have first string here, second string. Now when we move it to the third string, we 
still going to tap the 12th fret, but then we're going to do first finger, but third finger is going to go into the seventh fret, which is in keeping with the pentatonic scale. You can keep it on the eighth fret and use a blue note or the blue tone for the pentatonic, but it kind of sounds cooler back at the seventh fret. So in this case, if we're doing four on each one again and going back up, we'd have this. So here we go, the exercise in full. So we start with a tap, flick. That's, a, that's a kind of a base, very, very basic finger tapping technique. Um, one of the things, things that you want to try and work out is how to start and finish your tapping as well. Like I said, if you're playing a solo, you can see now I've, I've used a little bend there to let myself get into position, then I'd start tapping. using a little bend at the end or something like that in order to get my hand back to be able to play again because it, it kind of sounds sometimes a bit dodgy if you're just playing a solo you stop finger tap and then stop again and start playing a regular solo you want to try and incorporate it in a little bit it's one of the things that would definitely be worth spending some time practicing um, so that would be a really basic technique to, to try and get down uh, like I said I'll come and do some uh, more complicated ones if you all leave some nice comments for me on the on this YouTube page and say hey I love this how about some harder stuff I'll, I'll jump in there um, I'll give you one more little tidbit just because this is a really cool quite simple trick that you might want to try um, whereas before on the top string there we were playing the tap at the 12th fret flicking it off to the first finger and then hammering with the third a really cool little trick is to tap in the same fret as your third finger. So if we move it down here, we tap in the eighth fret, flick it off to the first finger, and then hammer on the same fret with the third finger, and flick off, tap, flick, hammer, flick. You can hear you can get really, really, really quick little tricks with that. It's, it's quite a nice. Uh, Quite a nice, easy, or very, very easy way of getting into your super fast finger tapping licks. So, um, hopefully, you found that useful and interesting. Uh, have fun. Uh, if you want to see some more, leave me a message and I'll start putting up some harder stuff. Um, have fun. I'll see you soon. Take care.